Hey there, grade 8s. Welcome to lesson 2 of chapter 3. Here we are using models to uh, multiply fractions. So this is a fraction with a fraction. Um, so the main model that we're going to use is we're going to be using these cubes. Um, so if I'm doing an example similar to, uh, let's go 3 fourths times 1 half. Oops. 3 fourths, let's rewrite this. Okay. So 3 quarters times one half, okay? Um, what I'm gonna use is I'm gonna use this box, okay? Um, one of the boxes, or one direction of the box, so basically I'm gonna have this times this, all right? So if I say this is my half, I'm gonna break it up into two sections, okay? Because I have two sections here. If this is going to be my three quarters, I'm gonna break this up into four sections, okay? The denominator is telling me how many sections each of them are going to have uh, made up. Now, when I'm actually talking about what's going on, I'm saying, okay, I've got one half, which is going to be all of this, okay? One half is filled in. Now, of that half, I have three quarters. So I've got one, two, three, four, but only three of those sections is going to be so I'm going to change it and make it look like this. Okay? You can do it up top or you can do it down below, kind of however, however you want. But basically what's going on is we can now count how many are filled. Here we have three out of how many total? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that becomes my answer. Okay? So once again, I've, I've got my one side which is going to represent one of, my, uh, one of my multipliers, and the other side is going to represent my other. And my product, or my answer, is going to be what is represented in the middle. All right? Um, I'm going to do a, a couple more examples just to kind of emphasize uh, what this looks like. All right, so let's do another one where we have, um, let's go 3 over 4, times 2 over 3, okay? So once again, I'm going to make my square or rectangle. I'm going to make this side 3 and this side 4, okay? So when I'm looking at it, I know that I have to have 2 out of 3, so that's going to be these two are going to be filled, and then here I need to have 3 out of 4, which is going to be these ones. Okay, so I can see that it's going to make this kind of box here. Okay, so what do I end up getting? I end up getting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 out of uh, 4, 8, 12, which can be reduced to 1 half. All right, I hope that kind of makes sense. Um, I'll do a couple more. Feel free to pause the video and draw these yourselves uh, if you have time. Let's do two fifths times one half. Okay, so like I said, feel free to pause. Okay, so in this one, I have to have two fifths, so it's going to be here, and I'm going to have this one. So I'm going to end up with something like this, which is going to give me two out of ten or one. Okay, one fifth. All right. Um, I'll do one last one. This is going to be a short lesson. This is how we're going to be modeling them. Um, in my, from my experience, this is the easiest way uh, to help everyone to try to understand. So let's go five over six times. Uh, let's go two over three. Okay, so a little bit different than a little bit bigger, bigger numbers. Okay, so this is going to be broken up into three sections and two of my sections are going to be filled. Two of the three sections are going to be filled. Now, uh, two, 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 two. Okay, so now I need five of the six. Okay, so I have one, two, three, four, five sections. So all of these are going to be filled up, which is going to give me five, 10 over a total of 18, which is 5 over 9, becomes my final 
answer. All right. So make sure that you check your homework. Um, if you have any questions with it, uh, make sure you bring those questions to the Zoom chat. Uh, like I said, this was a little bit of a shorter lesson, um, but this is going to be the model that we're going to use before we start to come up with our rules for how we're actually going to multiply fractions. All right. Um, please let me know if you have any questions. Uh, send me a message on Hangouts or uh, just bring those questions to the Zoom chats. And good luck.